it's it's doing good it's just they're not expecting that it was going to do less at the box office because you can watch it if you already have hbo max you can go ahead and watch it for free plus not to mention they made a mistake of bringing the movie out for uh exclusive access members of hbo max two weeks before the movie came out so all the people who really wanted to see it saw it yeah and that's and everybody's shocked shocked that their box office numbers are so low it's like and and <clears throat> unlike uh the movie free guy with ryan reynolds that just came out like yesterday has already made 2.2 million dollars at the box office and it's not, you can't find this on any streaming service. That is a theatrical exclusive. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, I really have no desire to see it because, quite frankly, it's a live action Wreck It Ralph, in my opinion. But, <laughs> but it's. Y'all, I don't know. I honestly think that Hollywood right now is. They're all so focused on the sexy of the. Uh, of streaming that they they're not really paying attention to their box office like they should and as a result they're losing out on a revenue stream and it's true they're not having to share their streaming with the box office owners or the theater owners but that's it's still going to catch them in the rump at the end of the year they're just not going to see it for the next two or three years because they're yeah. going to ignore it because they think being early adopters means, hey, hey, we have to lose money before we make money. Here's the problem the Hollywood studios are having with the Suicide Squad and Black Widow and all these other things. They are not early adopters on streaming. They are late adopters to streaming. People have already figured this out. Viacom CBS paid a very pretty penny for Pluto TV for a reason because they figured out how to make money without how to make money streaming without having to charge Normally. for a subscription for it. You can watch it for free. Fox is figuring it out with Dabble, the Fox TV anyway, what's left of Fox. Uh, they're doing that with Dabble and Roku's figured it out with Roku Channel. And even Amazon's getting into it. You can watch some Amazon stuff for free on their IMDb service. Streaming is, is the cheapskate's way. <laughs> I'll put it simply. These studios, yes, I've, I called these studios two years ago. We're all going to go stampeding to streaming because they swore up and down. They'd make a bunch of money at it. It's not, and I said it then, they're not going to make any money at it because they're mm -hmm. idiots. They're mm -hmm. Hollywood studios. Look at the crap they put out. Mm -hmm. It's all about ratings and how much money that they make off of the viewing. And that's not, and if you put it on a streaming service, that's not enough money for them to go and make another movie. Even Netflix is struggling. I think their, I think their subscription, uh, I think their subscriber count is down 14% year to date, I think. So year over year. It's been 14%. So Netflix, of course, is putting a bunch of other stuff out. And I know we just jumped topics, but we're it's connected. It's streaming. Netflix down about 14%. And they can't figure out why. I mean, they're putting out awesome shows like Masters of the Universe Revelations, which is basically the Tila show. And they're putting out all kinds of things about uh, gay, gay characters, gay actors. And they're doing all this inclusive stuff, and nobody wants to freaking watch it because inclusivity does not make entertaining television, movies, whatever. And they haven't, Netflix hasn't figured it out. Hulu can't figure it out. None of these streaming services will figure it out. Disney Plus is, just cannot figure it out. None of these guys are going to figure out. Making a message movie is fine if you do one a year. You can't do 12 a year and expect to make any money on it, okay? We're not here for your college women's studies uh, a master class, okay? We don't care about that. We want to get the hell out of whatever reality we're currently in and just lose ourselves for a couple hours. And that's what's good about the Suicide Squad. Told you I'd bring it back. <laughs> it is escapist entertainment. 
you can lose yourself in this movie for a couple of hours. For the kind for the kind of people who enjoy this sort of thing, it's the sort of thing those people would enjoy. In other words, as a wise man once said. So so the if you're going to see the Suicide Squad, do it in theaters. Uh, as we pointed out, uh, Free Guy is not coming to streaming soon. It's going to be on, uh, it's just exclusively theatrical first. And I think that's what's going to wind up happening with a lot of these Hollywood productions. Hollywood. They're going to start with the theatrical release. And then this will come out like a month after that on streaming. And then they'll release the Blu-rays and DVDs a month after that. And then, like, three months further after that, it'll turn up on subscription services and stuff. If it doesn't... The ones that don't have streaming models. Like, it'll start turning up on cable television. But, I mean, I said this a while back when uh, we talked about how Warner Brothers was releasing all their big hit movies on HBO Max and theater. And I was just like, that's a bad idea. Especially when everybody was getting the vaccine and everything was opening back up. It's a bad idea to do that because they made this deal for a whole year. Mm -hmm. And like Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, well, there was a bunch of other Warner Brother movies that came out that went to straight to HBO Max. Basically, the... Uh what the studios are having to learn is that 2021, 2020 was a lost cause. 2021 is going to be a lost cause because just about the time everybody started taking the vaccines, now they're screaming that the vaccines aren't good enough. You have to be double vaccinated. You have to be triple vaccinated. You have to do, you have to be vaccinated and do a back semi and land, <laughs> stick the landing and you better be triple mask while you do it or your, your grandmother's going to explode or something. <laughs> That's not helping things, and it's an absolute failure of leadership in this country. Nothing I can do about it. I didn't vote for that idiot in the White House. You idiots voted for that idiot in the White House, allegedly. So I'm not even going to go down that rickety road anymore. Y'all enjoy your, your stay down there. Just roll around in all that filth. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to be staying over here trying to not get another nosebleed from wearing this stupid mask everywhere. But anyway, 